and we're here today. We're going to learn how to make our own fruit and veggie capsules. If you tried to buy some online or through a health food store or something, they're really expensive and you don't really know what's in them. So in this, these ones here, they're that color because I have a lot of, there's fruits and vegetables, a lot of beets, and it's the bright purple color. Um, but today I've got this pack of California mix, which is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I just defrosted it. And first step we're gonna do is we're gonna juice it. So it's defrosted here in this container. I've got a KitchenAid stand mixer with a juicing attachment. And we just juice away. So you can cut up your own fruits and vegetables, um, oranges, skin, seeds and all. If you're doing apples, I highly suggest you decor them as there is arsenic in apple seeds because we're gonna be using this pulp to make our pills. So I could do the rest of it, but for now, we're just gonna stop it here. So we have this juice, nice nutritious vegetable juice. And the part we're looking for is the pulp. So this is all the fiber stuff. So let me put my gloves on. So we've got the, the pulp here. It comes out in these little tubes. There's still some moisture left in these. So I collected in a nut bag. And this one has obviously been used a few times, but nice and clean. And then I try to squeeze see if I can squeeze out any more juice. Couple reasons. One, well you want all the juice you can. And two, when you take it out and when we're gonna freeze dry it, it's less moisture that the freeze dryer has to pull. So I just put it onto these these Betty Crocker trays that I got at the dollar store. Two of these fit perfectly onto the medium freeze dry tray. So once this tray is full, I'll then put it in the freezer and wait for a load in the freeze dryer. So when it comes out of the freeze dryer, it looks like this. So this was a previous load of juice, all this purpley stuff. And then I did have some other frozen veggies that I needed to deal with. So that's why there's still some, some bigger pieces of vegetables in there. And it is super soft, airy, like styrofoam. You can almost just squish it in the bag to get a powder, but to get a more consistent powder, I like to use my Ninja. Um, I prefer Ninja over other blenders because the Ninja has three different levels of blades instead of just blades at the bottom. You don't get as much heat from the bl blades into your powder, adding moisture, and you get a more consistent grind, blend, whatever. dump all this in here. It 
And this was only in the Ziploc because it came out of the freeze dryer earlier today and I knew I was going to use it right away. Put the top on my blender. Plug it in. So now we have this nice fine powder. Sometimes I'll run it through a sieve and, and maybe grind it a bit more, but it's all small enough to go into our capsules. So you can customize your powder any way you want. Like I said, this one has beets, blood oranges, apples, cucumber, peppers, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. Um, I think there's some green beans. Oh, just basically anything I had in my fridge, like some kale, some spinach, anything I had in my fridge or defrosted in the freezer that needed to, to be used. Grind it, juiced it, freeze dried, grind it up, and now into a powder. I also added ground chia, flax, nutritional yeast. You can add turmeric. The sky's the limit. You can just tailor it to what your nutritional needs are or allergies or whatever you like. So next step is to get out this it's a it's a pill machine I got it from Amazon and you have to get the size of pill capsules that fit the machine this machine fits double zero pill capsules come in all sorts of different sizes and colors these ones are actually too small for this machine so we're going with the double zero all right so the next step is the pill machine. You take the base plate, add the alignment plate. The little holes here line up with the screws. Put that on. You separate your pill capsules into tops and bottoms. Your bottoms are the longer pieces. You dump them in and just Shake it around. Most of them will fall in on their own, but it gets to a point where you have to manually put in the last few. And let me see. Okay, so I have the whole tray filled. I did have a couple extra capsules. Lost count trying to count to 100. So we'll put those aside. So now that each of these are full, we get out the guard, put it on, take your powder, and dump it out. Take a flat spatula and uh, or flat edge and use it to move your powder around to fill up all the holes. So after you've flattened it out, take the tamper, push down, and there's much more room that you can fill in. You do that 
one more time. And pour off the excess. Remove the guard. Now we gotta put the tops in the other half. So again, take the alignment plate, dump your tops in. So now that I have the tops all lined up, move the alignment plate and add the middle plate. And this one, you want the little bumps facing up and just align it over top of the tops because these little bumps line up into the holes on the base plate. So carefully while holding the middle plate and the tops, flip it over, line up the screws and the little notches, and then push. I want to make sure you push hard all the way around, that they've all gotten pushed together. Take off the top. Missed one. Ah. Of course, one always has to screw up. Yeah, that one's messed up. But the rest is one reason why I wear gloves. rest seem to be good. And there we go. Now we have another 99 <laughs> fill capsules filled and ready to go. Some people might ask how much do you have a day or how many is a serving? I don't know. It's fruits and vegetables, whole fruits and vegetables. Um, depends on you. I might have two to three a day, might have none. If I'm eating really crabby or don't have an appetite, I might eat more just so that I know I'm getting some good nutrition. So for a couple dollars and using your waste, which would generally be waste pulp if you're regularly juicing, you have high quality, fruit and veg pills. I did, when I made the pulp that we used in this, it's nice and purple, I did try freeze drying just the juice. This was four trays and took over 80 hours. Not sure I'll do it again. It is marvelous. I love it. Okay, so I just had my, my lovely assistant go fill up a glass of water for me so that we can see this. Like I said, this was 
freeze dried just the juice from juicing. It's mainly vegetables, so fairly low sugar. It made a lovely, this, I love this purple color. Um, a nice crystal. Let's do, you know. And just like that, give it a good stir. Tastes just like I juiced it. So, like I said, it's wonderful, but takes an extraordinarily long time. So, only if, say, going away for a couple days or something and have nothing else I want to put in, I'd do that. But uh, it can be done. Just remember, if it's higher sugar fruits, you're going to get some explosion. There was a lot of bubbling with it, but because it had um, so much moisture had shrunken it down, it didn't bubble over the tray. But if you did all, say, orange juice or apple juice or higher sugars, you'd get a lot of bubbling on the tray. But it was a lot of work for a little bit of powder. So, there we have it. How to make your own fruit and veggie capsules from just whatever you have. Because why not? <laughs>